Hello, I'm Tom Averill of Topeka, Professor Emeritus at Washburn University. I've always been drawn to the life and work of William Allen White as I've studied Kansas and its literature. He was an ambitious man, active in both politics and literary writing. In fact, in 1896, White became sort of a double personality, publishing his first collection of short stories, The Real Issue, a well-received debut, but also printing a partisan, anti-populist editorial, What's the Matter with Kansas, also well-received and reprinted thousands of times during the 1896 McKinley-Bryan presidential race. Though White published nine books of fiction, his reputation as a journalist eclipsed his literary fame. Still, all of William Allen White's writing celebrates beauty, the natural beauty of the Flint Hills that surrounded his home in Emporia, Kansas, and the beauty in art and language. In 1922, he showed his preference for the eternal over the material, writing that wealth and equality of opportunity are futile if not out of it, something eternally worthy does not come. And he continues, what we lack most keenly is a sense of beauty and the love of it. The Kansas prairies are as mysterious and moody as the sea in their loveliness, yet we graze them and plow them and mark them with roads and do not see them. Surely the righteousness which exalts a nation does not also blind its eyes and cramp its hands and make it dumb that beauty may slip past unscathed. All of White's work asks us to appreciate beauty in both landscape and language. How appropriate that such a quintessential Kansan when he died in 1944 did so on Kansas Day. January 29th.